Hi, in this particular video we've got a fairly difficult linear equation where they're asking us to solve. In other words, finding out the value of m. And what we've got here is two denominators, one of four and one of three. Okay, well if you have a look at the previous video, what I've suggested then is that we make sure these are both the same number. However, it's a little bit complicated also this one because it's got a minus sign in the middle. So let's do those two things. All right, the first thing is we're going to make sure this has got the same denominator. So I'm going to say that I'm going to change this fraction to something over 12 minus, and I'm going to put some big square brackets in there. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm very aware this minus sign will affect what I do inside here. Um, and it's just a, a really good way, I think, of showing that that minus sign is going to cause you a bit of a problem. Okay, so let's have a go at filling in the bits that go with this equation. Okay, so if I look at this first part of it, I've got 4 and 12. Well, if I multiply 4 by 3, I get 12. So I'm going to multiply the top um, terms by 3 as well and I'm going to write it like that. Okay so the second bit is I've got I've multiplied 3 by 4 to get to 12 so this time I'm going to multiply those top terms by 4 and it becomes 4 brackets 2m plus 4. Okay so it is quite a tricky linear equation this one but if you follow this through hopefully you should be okay with it. Alright so let's now tidy that up. Okay so I've got 3 times 3m, well that's going to be 9m minus 3 over 12, because 3 times 3m is 9m, and 3 times minus 1 is minus 3, and that's going to be minus. Now this time I'm going to swap those little brackets over, but I'm going to change it to uh, a smaller bracket. Okay, because I want to make sure that I still remember I've got this negative in here, but 4 times uh, 2m is going to be 8m, and 4 times 4 is plus 16, and that's again over 12, all right, and that equals 1.5. Okay, so now it comes to the point where I need to get rid of these brackets. So I'm going to rewrite this now as a common denominator of 12, and the first bit is I've got 9m minus 3 minus 8m, so that's okay, isn't it? So that minus 8m, but then I've got minus times a positive. So minus a positive is a minus, and it's going to be minus 16. Be really careful about that, because that's the one thing that kind of trips everybody up with these sorts of equations. And that equals 1.5. Okay, good and looking a little bit better now. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to tidy up this bit at the top. I've got my 9m minus 8m is m on its own. That looks good to me. I've got minus 3 minus 16 is minus 19 over 12, and that equals 1.5. Okay, and then it's just a case, really, of multiplying through both sides by 12. So 12 times 1.5 is going to be 18. So I've got m minus 19 equals 18, and then I'm going to add 19 to both sides. If I do that, I end up with m equals 37, and that is the answer to this particular question. So I've skipped it through fairly uh, quickly towards the end there, but as you can see here, I'm multiplying both sides by 12, and 1.5 times 12 is 18, and then I'm uh, adding 19 to both sides, Okay, and that means 18 plus 19 is 37. Okay, so we've gone from what was a fairly difficult linear equation through to a value of m at 37. Hope it's been helpful to you. Please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.